And I'm just here to um, answer any questions that you have. If somebody's brought you to this call, it's because you're working on some sort of a personal health journey and they've connected to the alternative health community. Uh, so I would love to open up to any guests that are here, or if somebody's brought a guest here and has some specific questions, or if you have a question for a guest that couldn't be here. Um, this is recorded, so we'll be able to send this to them. And then just, if you don't know who I am, I'm a regenerative health practitioner, work on regenerative detox herbalism, and we work with superfoods here. So what we work with is helping the body heal. Sorry, well, we can't say that word. <laughs> what we work with is helping the body regenerate when it gets into the right environment. So we are solely focused on the removal of toxins and parasites, regenerating the cells with micronutrient nutrition and the removal of pesticides from the body. So when we get our body into that right environment, we start to see the body begin to thrive. Um, and it's a process and we're here to support you through it. So I would love to open up now and just uh, questions that we have. Feel free to, you can either raise your virtual hand, which is at the bottom of your screen in the reactions section. So you, at the bottom of the screen, you can click reactions and then raise hand or you can come off mute. Anybody else? Hi, Carrie. It's Kimberly. I do have a question. I just need to look up all of her things real quick. Um, yeah. I just got back and I went to the chiropractor. So let me, I have it. I just have to make sure that I'm saying the right thing. So I will have a question in a minute. <laughs> Problem. Thank Anybody you. have a question for somebody? Maybe that's not here. This is not our normal Wellness Wednesday education call. We're going to start rotating those so that um, we just have less, you know, we have so much every week. So we're going to just start rotating those and offer more customer support calls. All right, Erin. Hey, it's Brittany Kinsey. I'm on my boyfriend's phone. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know who that is. All right. Yeah. I'm, we're driving up to Duluth and I lost all service. So I got on his phone, but, um, I have, my mom has a potential client who had a few questions and she couldn't be here. So, um, the first one is what products would you suggest for a 10 year old diagnosed with vitiligo? Mm -hmm. Um, well, vitiligo is related to the pituitary gland. Um, so poor pituitary health is like not contributing to the function and the production of melanocytes in the skin. So are they starting to develop patches of discolored skin? I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, that's, that's usually what would diagnose vitiligo. So it's pituitary function, but the root of that comes from the gut. So if it's a child, I mean, I would, I would focus on cleansing through food first. Um, the second thing I would recommend is obviously there, are, depending on the age of the child, did you, do you know how old? Yeah, she's 10. Okay, 10. Um, then I would start with the kids shake, the epigenous kids shake and the kids in focus would be helpful to support the adrenals. Those two are connected with pituitary function and, and getting to the root cause of the gut. And then she might actually need some pituitary support outside of perium. Okay. Um, Another question was, how does biomedic reduce herbicides, pesticides? I don't understand how it eliminates from our bodies as we continually intake more through food and water. So the, the formulation in biomedic, the herbal formulation and the wheat germ seed extract actually works with pulling it, the, the stuff that, that basically coats onto the mucoid plaque, onto the bowel walls. So it's getting rid of that plaque that stores a lot of glyphosate. So yes, we are being exposed to it every day, but it's helping you detox it on a daily basis. Um, and so what it was is there was a, a double blind study. Half the, uh, all of the people that were tested were peeing out glyphosate at the beginning of the test after the test was over, which was a six week study with one capsule per day only, there was a 75% reduction in the amount of glyphosate levels in each individual's body and samples. So we are seeing that it is scientifically proven that it is reducing the toxic load quite a bit. And you're actually going to be taking two plus capsules a day. So there is more defense. So, I mean, same concept as like every day, you know, you 
every day you accumulate waste in your house, but then we got to clean it up, right? You don't just keep messing it up because tomorrow it's going to get messy again, or you're going to end up living in a trash pile. So it's like we are managing the load that we're being exposed to, and we're using scientifically proven herbs to help reduce that load. Great. And the last thing for glyphosate in drinking water, she was asking, um, what can we do about that? I have an RO filter, or reverse osmosis filter. I don't know if that <clears throat> would be something you'd recommend. There's lots of great filtration systems for water. I'm sure you could connect with anybody. There's people that do alkaline water. There's, I mean, I don't, I don't super align with alkaline water, honestly, but I know Brita, like not Brita, sorry, Berkey filters are supposed to, are supposed to be really good. Um, you can do RO. There's that, lots of different thoughts on reverse osmosis. I do distilled water and I add minerals to it. Um, I actually use specific minerals that purify my water. Like you actually see the metals and the things like fall to the bottom. So that's what I use. I actually will use water from my, um, like from my tap that goes through a filter. And then I put it into, um, I put it into this, like, it's like a two chamber thing. I just pour the water in the top and it moves through all these stones and minerals that purify the water. And you'll see all the orange and the sulfur and everything come out. So there, there's lots of different options for water. I don't know that there's like an exact, like this is the one, right? But definitely purify your water. Definitely have a filter, have a system. I like to use minerals. Um, it feels the most natural and the least wasteful to me. Yeah, thank you. Yes. And then, the, yeah, Veronique says she uses a distiller. What would you recommend for a two-year-old with eczema? So if the child has eczema, this is because there's a lymphatic stagnation. Kidneys aren't filtering lymphatic waste out properly. And the body is using the skin as that elimination system. Your skin is your largest. Skin problem? Um, your, so your skin is your largest elimination organ outside of your kidneys. And so the body is using the skin instead because the lymph is too backed up, but also about 90% of the time when um, eczema is tested, it is contains candida bacteria. So it means that there is a candida bacterial overgrowth in the body. So I would really focus on their diet first. Like how much starch are they eating? Are they eating dairy and eggs? Can you clean up their diet and focus on fruits and vegetables? Um, and then I would put them personally, two years old, my son's two, he just turned two last week. Um, and he drinks a superfood shake that supports his gut every day. Um, and so I personally would do a couple of things. One, I would start him on the, the Epigenius Kids Shake because it's filled with antioxidants and it removes pesticides from the gut and it helps the gut bacteria. Two, I would change their diet. I would get off of dairy and grain. Those would be the primaries. And then secondary, I would get off of um, meats. Oh, and eggs are really bad, like really, really bad. So eggs will feed candida like crazy. Um, and then three, I would, I love our apothecary. The tart sour cherry juice would be really good. It helps drain the kidneys and open up the lymph system and reduce inflammation in the body. So if they like a little cherry juice in a bottle, um, with some coconut water or something that would be really good to get into their diet. Um, and then last but not least strengthening their adrenal glands is very important when we have, um, kidney weakness or kidney to overgrowth because their adrenals help regulate the function of the kidneys as well as they are in charge of sugar metabolism, starch metabolism. So when we have extra pathogen overload, there's always an adrenal weakness involved. Um, so my recommendations from Purium would be our epigenius kids shake the apothecary juice and the, um, kids in focus. That's the adrenal support. And you just need a couple drops of that based on a baby. And I would start your baby on two tablespoons of the shake and that'll last you like six weeks. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. And whoever reached out to you here can send you a direct link. I don't know, Isabel, who brought you to the call? Nicole Fletcher. Okay, great. So she'll, she'll help you get in touch with her link in those three products. Cause she'll, she'll give you a 25% off discount. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And then I do have a video on YouTube on skin health as well. That's more thorough and detailed. Um, all right, Carrie. I have a question for a friend and she said um, she'd love to learn about how the biomedic is different than bio fulvic minerals she's already taking to detox and remineralize. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. Were you done? Sorry. That was it here. I'll go on mute. I don't know that specific product. Um, if it's made in a lab, if there's isolates, um, what I do know is that fulvic and humic acid is great for remineralizing the gut, but that is also in our biomedic. What I do understand is that our wheat germ seed extract and the other shikri root herbs that are in there are what is helping Ada as a binder to remove the pesticides. And it is the only thing like scientifically proven to actually remove the pesticides. So, I mean, I don't know if they've been doing, doing studies on that one. I would say I'd need to see the product. I'm not anti other things. I think we have a, something great here, but I think if something's working for you, it's working for you, right? Um, so I'd love to actually be able to see the product because a lot of those fulvic humic acid minerals are also, they're like half fulvic humic acid and then they'll say an added minerals or something that's made in a lab. And I don't recommend anything made in a lab. Obviously isolates create free radical stress and added damage to the body. So where is it sourced? How is it working? And is it an isolate? Those would be the things I would have to know beforehand. Yeah. And then maybe explaining the benefit of the, you know, the lactospore that helps feed the good bacteria. Maybe that would help her understand the difference of the biomedic too. Sure. Yeah. The lactospore acts like a, it's like a seed that, so most pro prebiotics are like fed with sugar or there's certain strains that are included in your probiotic and our body needs like over 70,000 microdiverse microbes. Like we have to have a very wide range of microbes. And um, Dr. Zach Bush was just talking about this on a podcast that I was listening to and how um, a cell on its own literally acts chaotic. Like it doesn't, a human cell, like a completely healthy cell moved on its own away from its ecosystem of bacteria doesn't know how to behave. So the bacteria is so incredibly important to the function, the communication, the you know, productivity of your nervous system. And what we've seen is that a healthy gut has around 70,000 plus microbes. Well, pro and prebiotics oftentimes have large strains of six or seven probiotics, right? Six or seven strains. And this is almost what's called like monocropping is um, what, how it's been referred to, but it's, it's like taking antibiotics. You're basically feeding, overfeeding these specific strains and the rest are not being fed and they're dying off. The difference in biomedic is it has lactospore, which is a seed that basically doesn't, it's not pre-fed with sugar. It's not sitting on a, in a pill where that you're training your bacteria to follow sugar. It's like a seed that flowers like a spore inside the belly and feeds the healthy bacteria. There's no sugar involved. There's no isolate involved. And it's just encouraging the healthy bacteria to populate themselves more. So that's the benefit of lactospore. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Okay, Kimberly. Thanks. Um, so this is somebody who has tried Purium in the past. Obviously, she wasn't doing regenerative health, but just the Purium product herself and said that um, she doesn't remember the exact circumstances probably about four years ago, but absolutely did not work for her. Like she remembers spending, you know, X number of dollars. She takes supplements, um, but she said usually it's two things. Either the pills are too big or the supplements triggers something. She has limes. I know she's had uh, mono multiple times. She's been doing a detox and she just said it's horrible and makes her feel gross. Um, and she wants to, you know, help like make this work because she's been watching my post, but she's really fearful that there's something in the ingredients um, in the Purium products that were triggering um, her acid reflux. And like, she sent me a picture of just like the big basket of supplements she takes, but not each individual thing. Um, so just trying to figure out how to help. Yeah. Um, knowing I've that there's a 60 a day money back guarantee, you know, like, like but 60 yeah. day money back guarantee. I've worked with a lot of Lyme patients and she's correct. They can't do the biomedic or the power shake. Okay. Um, it's in the beginning, in Good. the beginning, no. it, if they should, she can do the grain free pack with ease. Um, I would do the grain free pack and I would add on the carrot juice powder to give it more oomph for her, more filling. 
Um, and just like that high antioxidant load, she's got a very high viral load. She's got Lyme, she's got mono, she's got all this stuff. So her kidneys aren't draining. Her lymph system is not getting rid of all the pathogens and parasites. Her lymph system has become like a swamp. And so when you start the power shake actually has, you know, it's like the spirulina and all that different stuff. It starts to stir the pot. Okay. Um, and the biomedic strips, the biofilms, right? So we've got this plaque and this candida and these viruses all being released into an already overwhelmed system. Okay. So it's, it makes their detox symptoms worse. And even though it is just the process of them getting through it, it's sometimes too much for them to handle in the beginning. So all Lyme patients, I start on the grain free pack okay, and then I support the be energetic I solely believe in whole food supplementation. If she's on supplements that are made in a lab, I would jump off. Mm -hmm. um, so I would do grain-free pack carrot juice powder and be energetic. That's where I would start. Awesome. Um, and then she's going to need deeper support. Like the Virusure, if it's in her budget would be amazing. The Virusure is going to help bring down the viral load, but the only way that viral load is going to stay down is by her getting rid of her parasites. Right. So you can send the parasite and viruses video from my YouTube. Mm -hmm. They also have a video online, I believe, um, mm -hmm. from like several months ago. Yeah. Um, so that's where I would start with her protocol for this. And then she may need deeper support. And if she does, we'll be here for her at that point. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Christy. Hey, Carrie. Um, Oh, wow. I just lost my question. <laughs> oh, um, I have somebody who is wanting documentation on uh, why eggs are not good to eat. Just tell them to look up really quickly how they breed flu vaccines. <laughs> okay. The answer is with eggs. Cancer cells, they help them grow with eggs and flu vaccines, they breed the virus with eggs. Um, wow. And I can send you an article on it. Viruses, or eggs feed parasites and viruses like crazy. They're binders in recipes. So think about what it's doing in your body, binding, mucus forming, um, very parasitic foods. They're very, very bad for you. Okay. And then also I have someone, um, can I ask a question for an existing customer? Of course. Of course. Okay. Um, she is um, on the ULT and just started the Be Energetic and the Revive It All, but she's having a, she works a really um, demanding job. She's an interior designer, like a high end interior des designer in Phoenix and um, she's got a lot of stress at home. And so, you know, she doesn't have a lot of stress relief in her life. <laughs> um, and she's pretty exhausted. Like she, she says, I just, I just want to sleep all the time mm -hmm. and she can't. So, um, do you have any recommendations for, her? for the cleanse or starting the cleanse? She is, she has started the cleanse. She's done one no, before. No. I understand that. I mean, the fatigue. Oh, the feet, the fatigue. No, it, it, it was prior to the cleanse. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Uh, well, when she does need to sleep, that's how our body repairs its DNA. Um, you could yeah. add the white American ginseng to really help balance her hormones. Cause when we have that level of fatigue, it's usually a hormonal imbalance. Um, that could be helpful. And the ionic elements could help with her mineral levels. If she's, if she's exhausted and going through nervous system fatigue, she's burning through minerals at a rapid rate. So adding ionic elements could be very helpful to her overall energy, but I would say create some very clear boundaries in your life and prioritize rest. Um, yeah. you know, like I could stay up working till four in the morning every single day and still not be done. Yeah. Right. I just have to say, okay, it's 10 o'clock. I'm going to bed. Like it's just time to go to bed. Your yeah. nervous system has to repair and get that endocrine sleep. So I would go to bed at 10 and get up at six, right. Or get up at five and get more done in the morning, but getting that early sleep is going to help her body repair faster than getting late sleep. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I did tell her, you know, if you, if you can at all, at all take a nap, then do it, you know, um, a 20 minute power nap actually does wonders. Yeah. 
Put your legs up the wall, put your hands in your abdomen and go to sleep for 20 minutes and you will help your body reset. <laughs> and see if she can come to the five o'clock support call. Yeah, um, she can't. So um, that's why I thought I would ask her. Okay. okay. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Deetra. Hi, thanks. Um, so I think it's pronounced vitiligo skin condition and um, what sounds to me like vertigo-like symptoms, although it's been a long time since she had them. They come up sometimes. And she said that physicians are considering maybe she has Lyme. She's not been diagnosed with it. Um, Grain-free or ULT? and be energetic um, coming from the standard American diet. Oh, coming from standard American diet, I would start with the regular ULT so that they feel a little more satiated in the beginning. The grain-free will be hard. Um, and then with vitiligo, you're looking at pituitary weakness. So, you know, what's involved there? Are there vaccinations? Are there a lot of pharmaceutical drugs? Um, those yes. are all things that yes. affect the pituitary function. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dizziness mm -hmm. and vertigo um, also mm -hmm. come from the cerebellum congestion in the brain. Mm -hmm. So she needs to clean up the brain, get off of eggs and dairy, um, hot and cold showers, massaging the head, right? Getting rid of all that. I would support the adrenals. I would focus on a full ULT um, with the, the B energetic, of course. Um, and then she's going to need pituitary support for vitiligo. So, yeah. okay. And she's got to detox heavy metals out of her body. So month one, you all TV energetic yeah. month two, I would switch over to probably the epi kids. Um, I would probably add in ionic elements to support the nervous system and the fulvic zeolites to remove heavy metals out of the body. Um, that's where I would go month two and the month three, I'd move up to grain free and I would add in like a fab five and pituitary support. Okay. So she says that typically when she starts anything like this, she gets dizzy, um, like kind of fainting spells, if you will. And I would, would imagine that's probably some type of detox from changing diet, stirring up stuff. So just kind of work through it or... Yeah, she just needs to go slower. So start with just like fruit till noon now. Like when she orders her kids, it's going to take seven days. So make the changes now. Um, I would start with like fruit till noon now and just start there and like cooked foods in the afternoon and cooked foods at dinner, but start to drop like the meat proteins and the eggs and the dairy, make sure she's hydrating plenty. Um, and that's an adrenal weakness, that lightheadedness, the fainting. So I, she's getting her adrenals are being stimulated from the foods that she's eating. Um, and so then when she takes away those stimulants, the adrenals are like, I'm exhausted, right? So um, I would, depending on what her blood pressure is, if she has high blood pressure, she can't do this. But if she has regular blood pressure or low blood pressure, having a licorice root tincture on hand um, will help with the dizziness and help with that faint feeling. And then I would start drinking stinging nettle tea every day right now. She can pick it up at a co-op. She can buy it on Amazon, super cheap. I would get a large loose leaf bag, not packets, a large organic loose leaf bag of stinging nettles, brew them up, drink two or three cups a day. You want them to boil for at least seven minutes. Um, that's my recommendation. My best favorite way to make nettles is to, to boil the water and let them, I put the, I put them all in, sorry, somebody's off mute here. Um, I put them all into like a, um, like a mason jar and I close the lids and I go to bed and I let them steep all night and you'll, they'll be stronger that way. But I would start with stinging nettles, fruit till noon and licorice root, and then order your kit. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, Cecilia. Hi, this is a very extreme uh, case, actually. Um, a friend of mine's mom is, just got denied a liver transplant and they don't know how long she has really, but I was wondering if there's anything we can do that might assist with the liver, I guess. Of course. Yeah. Um, so one food is first, right? Get, I would get on a fruit-based diet as quickly as possible. In this case, usually I recommend easing into things. In this case, I would recommend getting plant-based this week, getting fruit-based 
quickly. Um, okay. start, start detoxing the liver as fast as possible and focus on your detox fruits, which is going to be your grapefruits and your lemons, your citrus, like all your citrus fruits, your red grapes, um, are the strongest for the liver. And okay. I would get on a liver gallbladder support. Okay. Uh, biggest thing that you can do for the liver, and this is not perium, but alpha lipoic acid in high doses. If you can find organic alpha lipoic acid and get on a high dose of alpha lipoic acid throughout the day, that has been proven to re reverse stage four cirrhosis of the liver. Um, so you can do this. And then I would get on things like Oregon grape root and milk thistle, like liver gallbladder herbs. Um, and then just focus on diet. So that's all the stuff you can do for free. Like, right. Okay. Like go yeah. find all that stuff. And then with Perium, I would only do our grain free pack, um, with, with that situation. I don't want the liver processing really anything. So okay. yeah, that's what I would do. I would do the grain free pack. I wouldn't do any heavy metal cleansing right now. Um, because the liver is processing that I would just nourish the body and the plant-based amino acids are going to be very helpful because the liver won't have to process those. So um, grain-free pack, maybe the B energetic as well, because it'll support her adrenals, which are connected to liver function. And then I would focus on getting fruit-based, um, adding in things like Oregon grapefruit, milk thistle, um, and then citrus fruits. And I can't remember what else I said. Oh, alpha lipoic acid, huge. Yes. Okay, perfect. I took notes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Work as fast as you can. I always say if they're still breathing, they got time. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Claudia. Hi, Carrie. Um, I have a nursing mom on the call. I kind of briefly explained it to her that this is like a great product for her, but it was just about 10. So I thought, you know, let's just hop on the call. Could you please elaborate uh, on the products for a nursing mom? I couldn't recommend them more. I'm a nursing mom also right. and have been for the last four years straight. I've got, I had two kids back to back. So I went from nursing one to the other. Um, and I had a completely different result this pregnancy than my last. So my first pregnancy, well, not my first, but my pregnancy with Mila, um, I didn't have any superfoods and I went through all the postpartum depletion. I lost a ton of hair. My skin elasticity went down. I was exhausted. I was losing more than I was receiving. And the biggest reason is one, you're feeding another human. So we've got to look at that. Um, and then two is you are, we're eating from very depleted soils. Our foods are fast farmed. They don't have all the essential nutrients that we need. Like it's scientifically proven right now that 1% of the United States soil is actually deemed nutrient dense. And so we are working really luckily with that 1% soil. Like the, our superfoods are grown in regenerative farms are grown in Utah, up in the mountains. They're like miles and miles away from any other pollution or industrialization. They're organic, they're raw. Um, sorry, that's my alarm to, I have another patient. Um, they're organic, they're raw. And then also they are vine ripened. So they're not picked until the moment that they're ripe and then they're dried in the wind. So you're getting like the highest level of micronutrients to help your body repair and to help your baby. Like you're getting mineralization, which you are losing a massive amount of calcium while you're nursing and pregnant. So those minerals are what help build calcium. You don't just take calcium to make calcium. Your body actually has to make it from minerals. And that's something that a lot of people don't understand. My favorite thing for a nursing mom is the core four. It's the, the foundation of the amino acids, our micronutrient shake, our gut support to balance your hormones and our cherry juice to reduce inflammation and antioxidants. And I like to add on the ionic elements to help mom repair. Um, if it's in the budget, I like the carrot juice powder also. So what do you think of the ultimate for the 30 day detox? For she the can do mom? it if she's not nursing. So she, she can do everything except for the super, except clean. for super cleans are right. Yeah. All right. I do, so I do 10 aminos and two super food shakes every day. And if I miss my second aminos, I notice I'm tired. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I can take Alyssa and Brittany and I gotta go because I have a patient right now. Um, let me just message her really quick and let her know I'm running a few minutes late. 
hey, I'm just finishing up a call. I'll be right there. Okay. All right. Um, go ahead. Who, who's next? So I've still, still see Kimberly's hand up and Claudia. Is that from before? Okay. Alyssa. Hi. Um, okay. Quick, quick question. My dad is, um, his latest liver show he's, shows he's low on iron. I know what foods to recommend, but what superfoods are high that we have in um, iron? You know? <laughs> um, well, I mean, the kids shake is great. Um, okay. I would say, I mean, really being low on iron is being, is, is for a couple of reasons. Number one is low ferritin stores due to the liver. And number two is because it's being stored in the muscle tissue because of a high viral load. So yeah, I would actually, yeah, I, <laughs> that sound accurate. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was also going to say malabsorption because he, he does eat a lot of starchy breads. <laughs> yeah. So will he do like the core four? Um, probably not. <laughs> I could try. I just have to be honest. Um, I could try. Um, then try the Epigenius Kids and the Apothecary. Just okay. get information now and I get that biomedic up, um, Epigenius Kids in them. Yeah. And start there. Okay, perfect. He does have Apothecary and I'm up in New York right now with him. So I, he could try the Epigenius because Saxy's with me. So we have it. <laughs> perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Um, okay. All right, Brittany. Hey, um, client, uh, potential client has Hashimoto's thyroiditis. What products through Curium are most important for me to be on to help besides ULT? Well, Hashimoto is autoimmune, which means the body is in the medical field attacking its own cells, which means that there's too many antigens and pathogens in the body. She's got a high pathogen load. Um, so for her, I would recommend the ULT Epigenius Kids because it's completely grain-free and it also has the zinc aid and zinc A, C, D, and E are very important to the thyroid and liver function. And the liver is what acts as a fat soluble transport for those vitamins. And it also converts T3 and T4. Um, so that's the one that I would focus on is the ULT Epigenius Kids with Hashimoto. Um, and then I would focus on the B energetic to support the adrenals, to support the metabolic function of the endocrine system. I would start there and I would focus on diet and I would plan to do two or three cleanses in a row to really get parasites down. Uh, month two, let's reevaluate where she's at. Um, whenever you have thyroid disease, it's often, not always, oftentimes related to heavy metal toxicity. Um, so I would add in the fulvic zeolites if things are going well in month two, and I would add in the crack cell chlorella so that she's getting really good iodine. She could do the chlorella in month one, the crack cell chlorella tablets. I like the tablets, not the powder. It's pretty potent. Um, and that is going to help with her immune support and it's going to help with her natural iodine levels, bringing those up. So that would be ULT, epigenetic, B energetic and crack cell chlorella is what I would recommend if it's in the budget. If it's not all in the budget, just start with the ULT Epi Kids and she'll still have improvements. Um, and then month two, add in the fulvic. Okay, thank you. All right, okay, I gotta run. I have a patient. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope this was helpful. Um, next week we'll talk about a wellness topic and then we're talking about, I can't, I think it's, I can't remember what we're talking about next. I'll, I'll let you guys know. And I, I gotta look at my chart. Um, have a great day and I'll see you guys uh, tonight. Support call if you're already a customer is at five o'clock. I'll see you there. And tomorrow night is another health opportunity call at 7 p.m. Thank you. Bye.